Hi, Gene. I, I, how long, how long is it going to be before are you going to get here? So are you going to be? Okay. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Only two in the trouble lineup. Then we just started talking. He got in, I didn't, because it was lunch. We just start hanging out together, and you know, we had a couple classes together, and then a relationship just blossomed from there. I think it was just maybe her personality that I really found interesting. For God's sake, take the picture. Goodwill and love. We got married in Mississauga, lived there for a couple years. That's when we started teaching, both of us, and we had three <laughs> children. <laughs> my mother is still teaching, and my father no longer teaches. Oh, look at my slide! Everything was great all the way up until 2011. There was a car accident. When it happened, basically my life stopped. One of the things that was horrible that I took from my life was my memory. I guess it scarred me and it always will. They put the brain on ice, as they would say, to calm everything down, and then they would slowly bring him out. When he started coming out of the first episode, he was very paranoid. Development of psychosis, which would basically mean a detachment from reality, and he would get aggressive. It really started to, to spiral out of control. He came down in the morning, he took a glass, and he smashed the glass. He pushed me, took the car keys, and said, you know, don't you follow me. We called the ambulance, took him to the hospital. I said to them, I, I really don't feel comfortable with him coming home. I don't think it's safe. I lost that special time with my kids and maybe with Nancy. Maybe that's one of the reasons why I'm not with her still. That's what I found for you. <laughs> why do you have this? That was here, I, that's not mine. I'm in a new building, a new apartment, and that's where I'm living now. His life always has its ups and downs, so she was there for all of those. I was in his life at a very important time when he needed someone um, to be there for him, and I was by his side. I thought I was his, we were soulmates for a lot of great reasons. For me, she's a very special person. There we go. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna fall. Oh. I'm starting to discover a lot of things in my life that need repair. And it's going to happen. Because I'm going to make them happen. I think it's just separation is a time of healing for everybody. Healing for me and healing for Jamie. I hope he finds the happiness he's looking for.